Recently, researchers of China have published the discovery of an ancient skull that could belong to a completely new species of human. It was published on 25th of 2021, and researchers says that this discovery of Dragon Man could potentially change the way we understand human evolution. They say that the fossil discover of this new human species could replace Neanderthals as the closest relative to our own species, Homo sapiens. We know that there has been life on Earth for some 3.5 million years. We can't say exactly when, but all we know for sure is that it happened after the formation of Earth that is around 4.7 billion years. Now, you might be thinking that even though the Earth was formed some 4.7 billion years ago? But, how actually researcher were able to trace when did exactly life was formed? Let me tell you that, we know that life began at least 3.5 billion years ago, because, that is the age of the oldest rocks with fossil evidence of life on Earth found. But, these types of rocks are found very rare, for some geological processes have reshaped the surface of our planet Earth, often destroying older rocks while making new ones. Nonetheless, 3.5 billion year old rocks with fossils can be found in some part of Africa and Australia. Now, let's understand how the different species of human fossil that were found describe the evolution of human with time. The first human-like creature appeared between 5 million and 7 million years ago, probably, when some ape-like creatures in Africa came down from the tree, and began to walk habitually on two legs and also they used some sort of very simple tools, though they were not actually like us, but obviously, they were the oldest humanoid, or human-like creature. The most complete skeleton of the oldest human-like creature were found in Ethiopia, and it was in 1974 where the researcher found out that those skeleton belonged to our ancestor, Australopithecines, that span the time period from 4.18 to about 2 million years ago on Earth. The fossils of Australopithecus was discovered in Eastern Africa. It was found that the height of the male Australopithecus was about 5 feet, and that a female was about 4.3 feet. They were bipedals, and walk upright on two legs. They also could defend themselves when being attacked, and also could carry their children. Australopithecus don't make their own tools, but it has found that they use sharp rocks to use as stone knives, for cracking the bones. It is possible, that this species was among the first to make the transition to stone tool making, and eating meat and bone marrow from, large animals. They, were the gatherer, and they could carry their own food. Lastly, the brain of Australopithecus were roughly 35% of the size of a modern human brain. The second oldest fossils of human species to be found was that of Homo habilis. Homo habilis is also known as first true human being. The word habilis is based on Latin word meaning handyman or enable man. Homo habilis inhabited parts of sub-Saharan Africa roughly from 2.4 to 1.5 million years ago. They also had bigger brain than Australopithecus. They make tools from stick and stones. Therefore, they were given name handyman or a skillful man. One of the most common uses of early stone tools was to crack open bones in order to get to the marrow. Some researchers believe this was our original niche. Just as woodpeckers specialize in extracting insects from the trunks of trees, the first first humans specialized in extracting marrow from bones. Now you might be asking why bone marrow? Well, let's create a hypothetical situation. Suppose you observe a pride of lions take down and devour deer. Then what you would do? Obviously, you wait patiently until they're done. But it's still not your turn, because first there are hyenas and jackals. And you don't dare to interfere with the scavengers. Only then, you and your band dare approach the carcass, look cautiously, left and right, and dig into the animal tissue that remained. This is how we understand things, in past work. About million years later of that Homo habilis, another, human-like species fossil were found. Homo erectus, or upright man, is an extinct species of human that occupies an intriguing spot, within the human evolutionary lineage, 
These prehistoric, hunter-gatherers were highly successful in adapting to vastly different habitats. Across the Old World, as fossils connected with this species have been found ranging from Africa, Europe, and all the way to Southeast Asia. Early African, Homo erectus fossils are the oldest known early humans to have possessed modern human-like body proportions, with, relatively elongated legs and shorter arms compared to the size of the Homo habilis. These features were also considered due to adaptations to a life lived on the ground, indicating the loss of earlier tree climbing adaptations, with the ability to walk, and possibly run long distances. These early human made better tools, built shelter and also it has been found they were the first human to control fire. They first made fire by striking two flint together. Fire gave them protection from wild animal, allowed them to cook food and also provide heat and light. Yet another fossil of human-like species was found in the year 1856, which was dating back between 130,000 to 40,000 years ago, and is believe this fossils belong to one of our closest ancient human relatives, Homo neanderthalensis. Many scientists believe that modern human, Homo sapiens evolved from Neanderthaland, Homo erectus. Also, they believe that this two species live side by side by about 20,000 years ago. Neanderthals had strong, muscular bodies, and wide hips and shoulders. Adults grew to about 1.50 to 1.75 meters tall and weighed about 64 to 82 kilograms. Early Neanderthals were taller on average than later Neanderthals, but their weight was about the same. But, Neanderthals had larger brains than modern humans do. Neanderthal brains had more capacity devoted to vision and body control, with less leftover for social interactions and complex cognition. Neanderthals were capable of sophisticated, collective hunting strategies. A research has been found that, Neanderthals used advanced hunting techniques to stalk and kill their prey. But as I have told you, in the beginning of this video, a new human species fossil might replace our closest relative Neanderthal. So maybe we need to create some event gap between Neanderthal and Homo sapiens. Almost 90 years ago, when Japanese soldiers occupy northern China, a treasure of skulls were preserved, and on 25, the skull finally come out of its hiding, and it has a new name. Dragon Man. The newest member of the human family, who lived more than 146,000 years ago. Researchers have named the new species as Homo longi, and gave it the nickname Dragon Man, after the province in which it was found. The identification of the skull, thought to have come from a 50-year-old male, who had wide face and had flat, low cheekbones, and his mouth was broad, and the lower jaw is missing. Also researcher said that his brain was about 7% larger than the average brain of modern human. All his facial features made him resemble modern human more closely than other extinct members of the human family tree. The researchers have said that Homo longi and not the Neanderthals were the extinct human species most closely related to our own kind. Also, number of experts do not agree that Dragon Man is a separate species but many think that the find could help scientists reconstruct the human family tree, and find how modern humans emerged.